All right, this is our latest toy. It's a power edger. There's a little story behind this dude. Had to uh, had a little incident uh, that uh, I had to uh, uh, address when I uh, got this thing last Friday. I uh, had a little mishap and forgot to put oil in it. <laughs> so, in other words, that's the old engine. I'll, get, I'll go more in detail with that in a minute. That's the new one. But, I got a hell of a deal on the new engine. Got it, you know, put on there, got it ready to rock and roll. But then I had another little issue. And that issue was this thing right here. The shaft on that is larger in diameter by almost three quarters of an inch is what that diameter of that shaft is, I'm sorry, uh, with a pulley behind there that the belt rides on, okay? Well, if you look at the um, shoulder of that end of that shaft before it goes into the engine, okay, the shoulder on the new engine, on the old engine, is a lot more machined and the diameter of that shaft is not three quarters of an inch okay it's a little smaller than 11 I think it's 11 sixteenths I think is what the diameter is um, and so or 9 sixteenths I'm sorry a little, a little bit uh, A little bit larger than 9 sixteenths, and it's actually bigger than 5 eighths. It's actually that big. It's three quart, almost three quart. So what I had to do is take out my drill bit set that are larger drills, obviously, and I drilled out the because uh, I got no way to machine this, obviously. This collar here, there, you know, this uh, shoulder here. I've got no way to machine this down. Those are special ordered apparently from Husqvarna on this Briggs and Stratton motor. So I said my next best thing is, is that pulley that's there is drill it out. Now it's got a keyway, but I used it something to my advantage because all that keyway was on the on the pulley was actually a kind of a machine press punch, uh, just enough to drag. Well, it's got a set screw on it on the pulley, so I used this to my advantage. And that's where the set screw sits in. So anyways, I took this lovely set that I have, and I drilled it out to in incremental steps, you know, from the uh, 9 sixteenths to, to 5 eighths, and then to uh, the 3 quarter final. Lots of oil, obviously, cutting oil. And I used my um, uh, monster drill to uh, handle the problem. And I put it back on. You was able to, it slides on the shaft perfectly. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. So, cover back on, had to align the belt, you know, uh, the pulley uh, back and forth here. And you see how far it's recessed in uh, on the shaft. And that accommodated the belt going nice and straight and true. And the cover for the, uh, and what that cover serves is two things, so the belt won't flop off. The other thing is, so it will actually disengage and in this mode here in that little slot right there I'm gonna have to refine I'm gonna have to work on that because I don't like how it doesn't stay there's got to be a way to fix that but anyways uh, it actually disengages like it's supposed to that's the blade height adjustment for it but this one's got oil and believe me Runs on 18 ounces of oil, 18 to 20. Believe me, I went through some freaking rigorous things about the oil on this damn thing because it ain't going to happen again. It was a mistake I made. I kind of let it get by me and forgot about it. And 
on and on and on. But it's a nice machine. I mean, my wife was actually able to use it before we blew the motor up. But uh, this is what it uh, really ended up doing to it. Right here. <laughs> nice hole in the engine. <laughs> I can see in it now. But anyways, uh, I parted it out. It gives me a lot of spare parts. I got a really good deal on the new motor. Um, you know, paid a lot of money for that machine. And I'll tell you, it's a cat's meow. That, that is the way to go. I've had all the attachment ones and the weed whacker models and all the other bullshit ones. They don't work. This is the way to go. That thing is a cat's meow. So anyways, now my wife can use it like she wants to and has to and all that. And I parted the hell out of this thing out. I still got to get my flywheel puller and pull the flywheel off. But uh, got some good parts on here, obviously, because it's brand new. But anyhow, um, you know, it's a basket case. I'll just buy a new crankcase for it. That's $170, and I didn't pay that for that motor. So, and that was complete. That motor just unbolted the old one, pulled the new one in, put the oil in it like I was supposed to, go through all of this, you know, through the uh, regimen of checks and balances and all that good stuff, and she's hunky-dory. But uh, it's a nice machine. My wife likes using it. Um, it's uh, got a lot of yards to edge, so something she wanted to do for a while. So, anyways, this is a uh, story of uh, remembering to put oil in an engine. <laughs> oh my god, what a mess. But, anyways, it drilled out real nice. It uh, I had no problem. I did it incrementally, obviously, and uh, it uh, drilled out nice. It's uh, not something I want to experience again, obviously, but it did what I had to do. So she's back up and running. Sounds like a champ, man. So, and it's got oil in it this time. So, anyways, that's my latest little saga. Now, there's my girl running it, see? She's having fun edging. <laughs> That's a nice machine, I'll tell you. It was worth uh, my freaking screw up fixing it, I'll tell you. Anyways, 